always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 276, Nasdaq's off 404, S&P's off 70, gold contract up $23.70, trading at 1786 an ounce. We got silver up 16 cents, $22.44 an ounce, light sweet crude off 50 cents, $65.98 a barrel, notes and bonds. Look at this move, man. You get the 10-year up 27 ticks, trading 131.14. The 30-year up a full point, plus 25 ticks at 164.04 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 19 ticks, trading 96, 137. Euro's at 113. The yen is at 112 and a half. And the British pound is at 132 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we take a look at this spy. What you're going to have out here, you're down $7.50. You're taking a B point out. You're taking it out with volume. Bottom line, this wants lower price. Uh, we get, uh, let's see. So on Wednesday, we had volume out here of, uh, oh, well, hold on, let's see. No, this is cool, actually. The, let's see. No, the, actually, yeah. So the S and P is not taking it out with volume. Okay, so you're you're inside the range. Well, you're down at seven half dollars. You're inside the range. Wednesday, what we did out here, folks, is that we did 132 million shares. Today, we did 197. I mean, 97. So bottom line is that you're inside of the lower range. Once we got back inside 454, it puts you in the lower range. That puts game on to October 4th. That's how that baby's shaking out. October 4th, inside the spy is 426. Inside the NDX 100, you got that 350. And 350 seemed like a long way down yesterday. But guess what? It just is down 10 and a half points today. Uh, you're inside the lower range. The lower range started at 382. You're 379. And uh, bottom line is that uh, that's what it was. The, the Qs are in an ABC structure on the way down. The Qs have taken out the Wednesday low of 386. You need a volume of 78 million. We've already got 83 million. So the Qs, the ABC structure in the Qs goes, let's see, 408. You got uh, 408 to 386, basically. Well, we can actually 408, 384. So you get 16 and H, 24. And that's going to bring you at about uh, 92, 82, 70. 82, 72, 68. That's 368. And this 350 is hanging out like a sore thumb. Big time. I suspect that's where we're going. Gold. Gold contract is now this is gonna get really wild, man, because this is uh this is gold has been trading differently, there's no doubt, for about three or four weeks now. And what it what it's been is this. It has not caught a bid. In fact, went down the last 10 days when the market's been shaky and the bottom line is that yeah you get a sell-off happening but you do not have that inside the gold nor the gold equities in fact they want to go up this move today in the gold market is really a sweet move we've hit 1766 and rejected it you're at 1786 and i like how it's got above yesterday's low it got into the low that was trading out here a week ago, Friday. That number was the 1784 number. So that's saying, guess what? We're going back topside once again. The note and bond market. Now, this is phenomenal, man. This is actually unbelievable. Um, the 10-year note, okay, is up 27 ticks. 1.7 million contracts. Okay, so now the 10... The 10 year just took out its consolidation. So you take the top of that, which is 13105. We take the bottom, which is 128. Let's call it 129. I, I got to make up nine ticks there. Once, okay, 129, 131. That's the easy one to do it. That's 133, and then uh, 13314. So the 10 year right now, folks, is going to make a run to 13314. That's three more points. The 30 year here, and we are. Right now, we're yielding – look at that, man. That's hard to comprehend. <laughs> it, it's not hard to comprehend as to where we've been, folks. It is comp hard to comprehend. We just went from 1.7% in the last 90 days to 1.28%. No, 1.34. Sorry, 
that's a move and a half, man. The 30-year, we take a look at the 30-year bond, USG, okay, USG1, no, USH1, there we go, USH1, okay, so the 30-year is up almost two points, oh, this is going to blow away highs, this is crazy, yeah, so the 30-year, let's look at this, this is going to be like <laughs> lending money for 30 years at, let's see, here we go, so there you go. So look at this. 30-year Treasury right now is 1.67%. So you can lend the government, you know, 100 grand, 10 grand, whatever you're going to do with the, with the bond, okay? Bottom line, you're going to get 1.67% for 30 years. Pretty amazing, actually. King dollar. What do we have with king dollar out here? King dollar still basically having a tough time getting any traction. It looks to me like king dollar is building cause, folks, to get into the lower range. First, it's going to I suspect we'll, we'll see if this holds the top of the range. The top of the range in King Dollar is 94.561. So we're at 96.14 right now. So that's that's a penny and a half above it because it had broken out. It broke out on the November 10th, and we're still quite above it. That That's the bottom line. It's just having a tough time uh, right now with any type of price. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, you got uh, this DocuSign is getting just smoked. You got, uh, let's see, we got Ford down 86 cents. You got Lucid off a buck 90. DocuSign, we're going to go back to that. That's down $100. $100. It's trading 133. That was just, unfortunately, a smoker. Uh, NVIDIA. NVIDIA's down $17.5 at 303. You got uh, Uber Technologies off 263. Um, what else out there? Microsoft. Oh, look at Microsoft. Finally, down nine bucks. You gotta figure that Tell is sold out. Why would you buy it? If the CEO is selling out. You know, half the shares. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrials right now down 291. The Nasdaq's off 417. S&P's off 73. 